Well, back now to our top story and voting in parts of Nigeria has been extended into today after technical issues and some delays at polling stations. We had a few technical issues earlier. We've now cleared them up and we're going back to our reporter, Adure Achumba. Adure, polling stations are some of them are still open. Is that correct? That's right. There are about 300 polling units across the country that are still open. Uh, uh, election process is ongoing over there. Accreditation should be over now, and some of them should have gotten underway with the voting exercise uh, it itself. Over here, uh, we are on Adam Street polling unit in Oranshoki in the Koshafe area of Lagos State. Uh, and uh, they had some issues here yesterday. I'm uh, going to let uh, Isaac here, who is one of the voters who was here yesterday, he's going to explain to us exactly what transpired. So what happened yesterday? Uh, yesterday when we came and uh, in the process, when the accreditation was about to start, the machine did not function. So they went back and brought a new machine. That machine was working. But then it was very late in the night. So everybody was asked to go and then come back today for the process to continue. How late in the night did you have to stay here before that happened? Uh, we left here around 5 p.m. yesterday, okay? When this machine was started working, we know that even if you are accredited, you cannot vote. So people were dispersed to go home, okay? By even around 6 p.m., okay? So that people go, they went home. And so you came back here to do your accreditation process. What time did you get here? What time did it start? And uh, what are they telling you now is the delay? Because I see that they're setting to vote, but there's a, a delay as well. Uh, I came here uh, by 12 to do my accreditation. Then we are waiting for the ballot papers to arrive right They said they've gone to uh, bring the ballot uh, papers, okay, so that the voting process will start, will commence. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, at this polling unit, there are about 300 uh, voters here. Uh, the line is uh, not as long as I hear it was yesterday, and that's because it is Palm Sunday, and many people had to go to church uh, for that uh, uh, very important date in the Christian calendar. But uh, we've been here for the, uh, about an hour now, and we've seen the line grow. Uh, we've seen the line grow a little bit, uh, and we uh, really waiting now for the uh, voting to start. And you know, security officials are trying to cordon. Uh, and uh, arrange the process. So uh, that's about to happen right now. Adura, it looks like those polling stations, those polling units, will have to remain open for some time to come if indeed people are at Palm Sunday Mass, which, and those masses won't end now for several hours. For how long will they stay open? Well, the INAC. Uh, uh, had an extension for Sunday and so again it's still the same procedure uh, accreditation starts and whenever the last person in line uh, gets accredited uh, by the set time about 12 o'clock uh, the, there's some leeway being given uh, by the uh, uh, INEC officials because of the, uh, the fluidity of the situation. But once the last person gets in line on that agreed time, the voting has to commence. And the last person in line uh, at the time that the voting begins will get the opportunity to cast their ballot. So it doesn't matter what time uh, uh, it, it ends, really. They could be here as long as five into the night. But as long as somebody w is in line for the voting, uh, that person will get the opportunity to cast his or her ballot. Okay, Adora Chumba there on the streets of Lagos. Thank you so much for giving us that update on the situation. There are sure that we will be rejoining you later on throughout the day.